Our next guest is with a company that has a rich history, certainly in the audio industry, in the radio industry specifically. We're delighted to have the marketing director for Home Audio for Europe from Philips, Andre Lang Herforth. Is that how you pronounce your name properly? Uh, in American English, yes. Yes, that how do you Andre. pronounce it? Andre Lang Herforth. That's exactly correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I got the Andre part. Yeah, the, okay. Andre, the, the Lang Herforth is fine. Too. Okay, very good. Well, welcome to the program. And what I, what I love about some of the products you brought is the retro look. And we're talking radio since we're predominantly a radio broadcast as well. And when Andres, uh, our camera g dude, has an opportunity, he's going to pan down and show an original Philips radio back when you were called Filetta, it looks like, because that's the name on the front, 1955. And again, those of you driving in the car or only listening on the radio right now, have no fear. Swing by into tomorrow.com when you can. You'll see the videos of all the interviews and products. And it still works, too. This is very cool. I had to turn it down only because we're on the radio here, but you get the idea. But it still works. Got awesome push buttons like the old-fashioned jukeboxes and things like that. And a, a great idea of showing from yesterday and now as we look slightly to the right into tomorrow is the new Philips. Is this like a retro line or something? I understand this is your baby in particular. Yeah, it, um, there is a whole family of original radios. Uh, as you said, Dave, we have uh, a rich history in radio. We actually started making radios in 1927. Wow. Uh, we were in radio broadcasting uh, and produced a lot of different models, which among collectors are considered iconic designs, one oh of which sure. the 1955 is the original radio. If you Google retro radio, vintage radio, um, I would think in the US as well, definitely in countries like Germany. Germany has 225,000 entries on the Filetta, a model from 1955. Huh. So there's a lot of people that are really, really into this design, and yeah. we are too. Um, and we saw that uh, there are more and more retro radios, electronics coming out. Uh, we see the same trend happening in uh, uh, cars or clothes. But and we actually have the original radio and some of the iconic models. So the idea was just, okay, what do we have? This is what we've got. So let's uh, reinterpret it and make it relevant yeah. for today's use case. So now we've gone from 1955 to 2012 yes. in a very unique, sleek looking, yet still have that retro feel and look to it. Correct. That was the idea. Yep. And while we couldn't put an iPhone or an iPod into the 1955 radio, <laughs> back then we can we in can this one. We can today, yeah. correct. So when you when you uh, compare where we took the inspiration, we are we kept real wood uh, finishing. We're keeping the round iconic edges of the of the uh, the casing. We have a light included. Yeah, which and uh, a also nice back display. in the 1955 we had a lighting effect. We have a pretty unique grill that was on the on the original filetta, which is actually also in here. And if you look close, is you will see that oh. there is a reminiscence of a grill in there as yes, well. Yes, I can feel the grill yeah. behind the speaker, uh, the soft speaker fabric as yes. well. So we've got the aluminum knobs for controls, um, and then buttons. Yeah, we don't work with buttons anymore, <laughs> yeah. but instead we have uh, the the speaker dock for the so for the iPhone. You just push this in, and you push the little Philips logo, and out pops the little docking station to put your iPhone or iPod in, and there you go. Now you're playing your own music, it, but it is also a radio. Yes, it is also okay, radio. So it picks up AM and FM and your own music library. Of course. Awesome. awesome. And it's available now, and for how much? It will be launching in the U.S. Uh, in October. Okay, um, in time for the holiday season. Yes, and in terms of pricing, I can't actually tell you the U.S. pricing. Since I'm serving Europe, I don't know by heart no, what no the problem. retail debt, but it'll be Euro 199, so okay. I would guess U.S. dollars 200 and yeah. some. Probably a little more than 200 bucks, yep. but certainly cool, and especially if you're into the retro, and we've heard them at the booth, they sound very nice. Yes. Okay, they're very rich and full. They're going to be available at selective retail, uh, including Apple stores. So, Oh, well, very good. Apple thinks enough of them then to include them. I like they that. Yeah, they do. And, and some different colors, too. So you've yes, got a wood got grain finish, this cream finish, and, and what red. other? Chili red. And chili red. <laughs> All right. So you can play your hot tunes on it. And before we run out of time with you, I want to make sure we talk about some other speakers yeah, well, that Philips is introducing here at EFA. Um We are actually an audio market leader in Europe for docking and audio home systems and in many other markets. And we're not stopping with retro and celebrating the past. We, of course, also look forward, go forward. And we have uh, a range of portable speakers that we're introducing, uh, a family called Shockbox, also already available in the US in select retail, again, including um, Apple, uh, which is Bluetooth, a Bluetooth-based speaker with uh, 10 hours of battery. It will talk to you, tell you how, how much battery life you've got 
Nice. So let me let me get that uh, so we can hear it on. Uh, how do I get it to talk to me? Just push, push this the button. button. Yeah. All right. And plenty of battery left. Oh, plenty of battery left. Plenty that's of good battery to know. Left. Yeah. But <laughs> here's a, that's a cool little device here, yeah. and then Bluetooth speaker. It's a really nice look. And when you mention 10 hours of battery life, that's probably going to keep us entertained for some time. And a big volume knob on top yeah. with a nice blue light all the way around it. Uh, quite a nice little device and easy to deal with. Available how soon? It's available in the U.S. now. Oh, very good. Yeah. And uh, around how much do we know? We're ta uh, talking around 200 uh, Dollars as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. And, and then it's always interesting to, to get stumped on euros versus dollars, but we got to keep that in mind I for the international I audience as I well. I am serving Europe. Sorry about yes. that. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, don't apologize for that. That's terrific. Uh, you guys continue to come out with fun products and cool things to talk about, uh, whether it's, uh, it's, it's you bringing these kinds of retro radios and the Bluetooth speakers or others from Philips that are sharing other cool products. Keep up the good work, and we'll keep talking about it. Thanks, Dave. Thank you Will for do. joining us. Philips.com, of course, P-H-I-L-I-P-S, one L, Philips.com. And we'll link you there, too, when you visit intotomorrow.com for more info and video of all of our guest interviews. So when you have a moment, if you're listening on the radio or your favorite podcast or stream or other source, be sure to visit the website, intotomorrow.com. And say hi to Marty for us, too. Always does a great job at Philips to make sure we know about the cool new things you're doing. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues from IFA in Berlin, Germany on the Advanced Media Network.